Uh, hello. Uh, today I want to show you how uh, how to make uh, standoffs uh, to use for the uh, wind jigs. Um, you know, kind of create a cradle in which you can build uh, the wing. Uh, it, one of the most important things um, in uh, when building a, a stunt ship is to make sure everything is uh, perfectly straight. Uh, to achieve that, uh, you have to make sure certain parts of the plane are perfectly straight. If if a wing is uh, you know, a quarter inch shorter than it's on the plans or a quarter inch longer, doesn't matter so much. If there's a twist in the wing, that's that's critical. That's going to affect the uh, the way the model uh, flies. So in certain parts of uh, building a stunt ship is, uh, you know, you can, there's leeway. Some things you just cannot compromise on and that's building straight, uh, straight wings, straight fuselages and making fuselage and wing uh, and stab aligned to each other perfectly. Uh, those things you cannot compromise on. You know, a positioning of a, uh, you know, of, uh, of a rib, if it's, uh, you know, one eighth of an inch to the left or to the right versus what's on the plants, it's not going to change your airfoil much, it's not going to change it, it's not going to change a lot of things, so uh, that's okay, but keeping the wing straight is, is extremely important. So, building the uh, building the standoffs on which to kind of begin the, uh, you know, to, to do the construction, and you've seen it in some of my videos, uh, you have to build uh, those standoffs in a way that uh, is simple. Well, you want them always to be simple to, to, to build, uh, to create those standoffs, but they should be inherently give you ability to have a straight jig. So what I'm going to show you is my method of building these uh, uh, kind of standoffs on which uh, you position the wing. Uh, usually I just buy, uh, go to Home Depot, get one of these uh, pine, uh, you know, one by four, uh, by, by four feet uh, boards. It's gonna, probably going to last you, you know, 10, 20 airplanes. If, you know, it's probably an overkill. If you can uh, get some, uh, some uh, cutoffs, uh, something, you know, you know, people just leftovers from some project, you can use that too. It doesn't have to be pine as long. As long as it's, it's a fairly hard, you cannot do it on balsa. Balsa is, is very, changes drastically with the weather. So, you, you know, it bends, it's, uh, it's just not what you want it to be, right? So, um, you know, pine is, is, is enough, straight enough uh, for, the, for what we need to do. So, here's uh, what uh, <laughs> UPC code that I actually pulled off the site. This is what I'm using. And uh, I just have a little one footer. This is about all you're going to need for the whole project. This is enough to make uh, standoffs for the front and the back if you want to uh, use standoffs for the back as well. Uh, in my previous videos, you saw the jig uh, <clears throat> that uh, I actually had a, 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 a you know, board uh, with the actually integrated uh, a trailing edge. Uh, you can build it that way or you can just build uh, standoffs uh, for the trailing edge. So the way the way it works is the way we're going to do it is we're basically going to cut this in half, cut this board in half, and then we're going to create a V channel over over here. It's going to be our V channel, and on this side we're probably we're going to create a little cutout a standoff like this where the trailing edge is going to go. So the trailing edge, so it's going to go like that and the uh, the leading edge uh, is going to sit in the groove that way. Now the equipment uh, I'm going to use for it is a regular, is the equipment you can actually find in any you know, in any Home Depot. Uh, there is a, a circular saw. Uh, now I'm using your, your, you know, your regular Home Depot brand uh, rigid. It's a it's a it's a it's a stationary table saw, but you can use a regular hundred dollar table saw um, um, that you can pick up. As a matter of fact, everything that we're building today can be done with just a hundred dollar circular saw. Uh, you know, f me, I, I over the years I kind of accumulated a little bit of more hardware. I have a, a chop off saw. Uh, it's great for. Uh, uh, you know, just cutting uh, pieces off uh, much quicker, and uh, uh, the, the other piece of uh, equipment we're going to use today is a uh, a router. Now I have a router table. Uh, I built it a while ago. 
actually built, started building it last fall. As you can see, it's not finished yet. But uh, you know, down below there is a uh, uh, there's a regular uh, router. So uh, this this surface, this table allows me to actually do uh, incremental. I can see it. this is uh, this is where I can dial in how much to raise or lower the head by. Uh, great, great project. Uh, great project to do. Uh, this table, it's the one that's done. I'm already finding that it's a lot more useful than uh, using a router, you know, hand router by itself. So this is what we are going to use for today, today's project. So first thing we want to do is we have. We want to uh, figure out how much to cut or how much, how deep the groove needs to be for the leading edge. Now, this is your typical uh, three qu uh, quarter inch uh, stick, but uh, what we want to look at is is actually this area right here. So this looks like, oh, let's do a uh, 16th side. So this looks like three eighths. Uh, if you can see, it's about three eighths. Um, across, so what we need is we need three sixteenths uh, deep uh, groove. So the groove is going to be about three sixteenths. Now, if it's not completely, you know, exactly three sixteenths, not a big deal. Um, as long as it's consistent through the entire range. What we're going to do is we're going to cut, cut one groove, and then I'm going to use a chop saw just to cut off. Uh, just to cut off like one inch pieces. So this is what we are. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. So first thing uh, we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take a piece of scrap wood and we're gonna figure out how deep the channel needs to be. Uh, and uh, we're gonna cut that groove on a uh, uh, router table. 